Hey everybody, it's Alan, and I hope you're doing well. Today is February 20th, and on this date, 21 years ago, way back in 2003, one of the most surprising tragedies that I can recall happened in the world of music. Great White was playing at a little club in Rhode Island called The Station when a pyrotechnic accident occurred taking the lives of many patrons, burning the building to the ground, and um, taking the life of one of the members of the band as well. Ty Longley passed away in the fire. Um, He wasn't an original member of the band. He was actually playing with them for a few years, and um, they should have never had pyrotechnics in that place, honestly. It was just the the venue was not equipped for it. It wasn't right for it. And um, I remember when the I remember when it occurred and thinking to myself, God, I think I've been in that building before. And uh, well, it, it kind of felt like a fire trap, to be honest with you. And um, anyway, uh, I don't have any recordings to play with Ty Longley on them, but I do have a great white song from the very, very early days of the band that I'd like to pay in tribute to um, the loss of Ty Longley and those who lost their lives in that tragic, tragic station fire back in 2003. So here is the great white song, Save Your Love. I'm a dream.
Like I said, I remember when the fire happened. I was living in uh, I was living in Southern California at the time, so it, it was a, it was a real shock. It was a real surprise. I re, I remember all of the uh, the news reports and seeing the scene outside of the building and just watching the, for lack of a better term, watching the casualty list. Just climb and climb and climb. It was a sad day. Look, I mean, you never get used to bad news. You know, although it seems like in this time and space that we're in now, it's just bad news is everywhere. You know, people dying, tragedies, accidents, intentional homicides, murders, all this all this stuff seems to just be surrounding us. We're bombarded by it over and over and over again. On a night like that where people were just going out to have a good time and, and, and enjoy some good old-fashioned rock, it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, and it's not the first time I had actually heard or seen news reports on something like that. I remember distinctly when I was uh, when I was much younger, the news reports of a uh, of a movie theater fire that occurred in I believe it was Lynn, Massachusetts. And uh, that particular movie fire, um, movie theater fire, had had taken so many lives that it had changed the, the ordinances surrounding um, movie theaters and emergency exits and, and, and situations like that. I, I don't know what changed after the station fire, but God, I hope something did change because that just should have never been a situation. I mean, they had improper foam sound deadening material that was not installed properly it wasn't even actual fire retardant at all and you had a band that was for lack of a better term used to playing larger venues and still tried to put on a stage show like they were in a larger venue and the place was a tinderbox it just it it was a tragedy that didn't need to happen. And I'm not saying all this to say anything. To, I'm, I'm not trying to be negative or anything like that. It's just when you talk about situations like this, you have to remember there could have been regulations in place to prevent such things from happening. I remember an episode of WKRP in Cincinnati where they tackled the story of the Who concert that took place in Cincinnati. That was a general admission concert and people got crushed against the stage. You look around and there are people out there, selfish people, frankly, out there who would sit there and say, 
oh, we don't want regulations. Regulations clog stuff up. The people who are telling you that in general are people who don't want to pay to have to have followed the regulations, okay? Usually it's a corporation. Usually it's a company. Usually it's, a, it's an industry that doesn't want to have regulations to guide them towards safer practices, you know, look at the uh, the East Palestine uh, train wreck, right? That destroyed countless lives in Pennsylvania. If there were proper regulations in place, the train cars would have had brakes that worked. The train could have been crewed by more than one or two people. But corporations have paid off politicians to minimize regulations so that the cost of running the railroad doesn't go up and the profits can continue to increase. It happens across every industry. It happens with no regard to human life or safety. It just happens. Don't even get me started on the gun lobby, the gun industry. Over 80% of Americans want background checks and bans on assault rifles, okay? And yet every day in this country, there's a mass shooting. There's a mass murder that takes place every day, just about every day, okay? And politicians and corporations point at everything but the actual weapon used to kill people. They point at mental health. They point at crisis counselors. They point at poor reaction time by police departments. They point at everything but the fucking guns. Okay? We could go down the list of businesses, banks, bankers don't want to have regulations so that they can use your money to do whatever the hell they want to do and rob you blind and give money to fossil fuel companies and we subsidize pharmaceutical companies and they put stuff out on the market too quickly and it causes ill effects amongst people. The oil companies are willing to frack the hell out of the planet and create more climate change because they don't want to have regulations that are going on. Go look at the drinking water aspect of things. We used to have, when I was growing up, we used to have regulations in place and you could get a good clean glass of water from the tap. But no, cut back on the regulations so we don't have to clean the water and filtrate it nicely you know, properly and we could just put it out there and then we'll give the mo give the water away to companies like Nestle and other companies so that they can bottle it for us and sell it back to us because we don't want to pay to have clean drinking water come right to our house we want to pay to get it in plastic bottles. The plastic bottles are destroying the environment. The plastic, uh, the, the water manufacturers are taking the water from us and selling it back to us. Again, it's just a situation where regulations aren't a bad thing. The bureaucracy is the bad thing. The legalized bribery is the bad thing. And the only time that people want to do something about these situations and the outcry is so bold is when a massive tragedy like the station fire happens or the Lynn Theater fire or, you know, you've heard of the Triangle Shirt Factory fire, right? I mean, all of these things happen and people get up in arms and they want it fixed. They don't want to see these things on the news every night. And unless we actually band together as a, as a person, as a people, as citizens, as whatever, to, to force politicians into actually doing something, they're not going to do anything because the money is too great on the other side of the argument. I'm sorry. 
I did not want to make this into a rant about stuff like that. This was meant to be a video tribute to Ty Longley, the guitar player who lost his life while he was playing for Great White. And of course, the other people, the patrons who were at the show who lost their lives in that tragic fire as well. And I and I hope the song was a nice tribute. I, I, I felt like it was the right song to play. I know Ty didn't play on the studio recording. I know that. that that's, that's beside the point, okay? Put a thought in your mind this evening or this afternoon or today for the lives lost at that tragedy, including Ty. And think about whether you want to run the risk of being the next person or a family member of yours being the next person or a person you truly care about and appreciate being the next person to lose their health through minimized regulations that could have saved their lives. Again, you can point to anything. You can point to just give a thought about what we can all do in even just the slightest small way to make the world a better and safer place for all of us. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. We can talk about it further. Just know that I appreciate you. And when I say I wish you all well, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I truly do wish you all well. Take care.